Hello everyone, this is Sean Einstone, co-producer at Kojima Productions, here with a special Xbox One presentation of Metal Gear Solid V Ground Zeroes. The first part of the Metal Gear Solid V experience consisting of Ground Zeroes and the Phantom Pain. As you can see here, there are several side missions, known as side ops, which can be unlocked in the game, but for today, we'll be sticking with the main Ground Zeroes mission, which serves as the prologue to the Phantom Pain. Each mission has two difficulty settings, which can be selected before starting each stage. Normal, for those who want to enjoy the flow and story of the game without getting stuck, and hard for players craving a more realistic experience where the AI and game settings provide more challenge. For example, in hard, enemies have better vision and are more aware of their surroundings, making it easier to be spotted from a distance. Also, enemies will adapt to the situation and coordinate with teamwork to corner and eliminate Snake. For today's demonstration, we'll walk you through the main Ground Zeroes mission in normal mode, and we'll attempt to do so using stealth. No kills, no alerts. Alright, let's get started. Now there is a cutscene here introducing the story, but today's focus will be on gameplay, so we'll go ahead and jump straight to the game here. For those interested, the cutscene is available online. You can take a look for it. The target location is a prison camp on a U.S. military base. Go ahead and let Chico know you're there. This is an infiltration mission. You've got to stay out of sight. Avoid combat whenever possible. Do not let the enemy see you. Now, past MGS games started missions by putting you in enemy compounds, where you need to avoid enemies at every step of the way. However, for this game, we wanted the player to have more strategic options by starting the mission outside of the target area and having each player figure out their own strategy for infiltration into the base. The first step in doing this is to gather intel by marking enemies from a distance so that we can keep tabs on them. You can mark enemies, like so, as well as enemy weaponry. Mark targets become clearly visible on the screen and will also appear on your map, like so. Intel on enemy positions and movement patterns can be analyzed on your map to help you plan the best infiltration route. Of course, for those with quick reflexes or who are extremely confident in their skills, you can also attempt jumping straight into the base without marking targets, but the game becomes much more difficult. Also, for the truly hardcore players who don't want any on-screen guidance, the marking system itself can be switched off in the options if you prefer. Players who do this will get a special bonus for clearing missions without any marker support. So it's really up to the player and your personal preference whether to diligently scout out enemies and plan your route, or run and gun through the game like an action game. You have the freedom to do either. That's the refugee camp. I hear it's where they hold Another tool for gathering intel like is to Cuba ask for details Haiti. over the radio as you scope out targets. Whenever you see the intel icon on the screen, you can get supplemental info and hints from Miller and your support team. On top of a decades-long dictatorship, Haitians also face an ever-growing wealth gap. A lot of those people likely risk their lives to get out. Alright, so let's get moving. Okay, spotlights. A familiar sight for veterans of the series. But they've never really looked this good. Um, you know, this is actually the way that Hideo Kojima wanted to implement searchlights all this, all this time. But only now, 25 years later, can he actually achieve this vision. And as you can see here, when you're in danger of being spotted by a searchlight, you'll notice a lens flare effect and a sound effect alert you to the danger. At times like this, if you lie down and remain motionless at the edge of the spotlight, you can avoid being detected. So let's get out of here before he sweeps back around with another pass. And we'll take the high road here to stay out of sight. Alright, we've managed to navigate around the watchtower. So let's tranquilize this guy. And we can hear some guards talking. And there are many cases like this where within the base you'll hear soldiers talking, you can eavesdrop on their conversations to gather important hints. Okay, 
Okay, we've come to the gate, and you'll notice that it is locked. But one new ability that Snake has in this game is the ability to pick locks. So let's open the gate carefully. You have to do it slowly to avoid making too much noise. And by zooming in, you can mark targets that are a little farther away as well. Okay, and uh, probably shooting the guy in the middle of the road wasn't the best choice because he is being spotted now by this guy driving down the road. So let's take him out quickly before he draws any attention to us. Alright, and let's get these guys off the road so that they don't get spotted by anyone else. Another new feature in Ground Zeroes is the ability to drive enemy vehicles. While in a vehicle, most guards won't be suspicious of you as long as you drive normally and avoid attracting attention to yourself. And there are also fully covered vehicles which conceal the driver, allowing you to get close to enemies without them noticing Snake. Alright, and looking at our map here, it looks like most of the enemies are on the eastern side of the base, so let's start by checking the western end. So let's park the vehicle where it won't be spotted by the guard in the watchtower and proceed to the camp. Okay, and we can get a better view of the camp from the watchtower, so let's make our way there. You have several CQC actions which can be performed in specific situations, such as this while on the ladder. So from this height, we can actually pull soldiers off the platform and knock them out without killing them. Like so. Alright, and we can also use this spotlight, which will help us scope out the area. Okay, some guards. And there's the car that we stole earlier. And it sounds like a pair of guards talking. Our binoculars have uh, a directional mic equipped on it, so if we zoom in, we can eavesdrop in the conversation. Damn it. We are leaving no stone unturned. All right, let's go. And it sounds like they're searching for someone, so let's survey the area and see if we can find them. Okay, it looks like an escaped prisoner, and that could be our target, so let's get down there and neutralize those enemies before they find them. When grabbing enemies, you'll see that you have several options to choose from, such as choking them out, interrogating them, or you could even make them call their comrades. Call them. So let's make him call his buddy here. Alright, here he comes. him to sleep. And we don't need our prisoner here anymore, so let's knock him out and make our way to the target. Found him. That's the one. Rescue Chico and get him to the RV. Mission objectives clear. Time to RTB. All right. So we have our target. 
Now let's plan our escape. Okay, now use your eye droid to call the chopper for pickup. Keep an eye out for You can see the train from an aerial view using a map in your terminal. And let's call the helicopter to get Chico out of here. And you can specify where you call the helicopter. And uh, you can see, based on the color, you can tell how dangerous each evacuation site will be. So let's make our way to the car and put Chico in the car. Uh, which seems to be gone now, actually. Um, looks like an enemy recovered the car, so we'll have to do it on foot. This is Morpho, arriving shortly at LZ. And it sounds like our helicopter is on the way. All right, there it is. That's our helicopter. So let's get over there. And we were spotted, but you see here that things slow down for an instant. This is what we call reflex mode. When an enemy spots you for the first time, you'll have this instant where you can immediately react and avoid raising an alert. But that said, when enemies are spotting you from far away, you can't always eliminate them, so appropriate action, depending on the situation, is required. Naturally, this mode can be turned off, so if you want to play without reflex mode, it is possible to do so, and there are additional bonuses for not using reflex mode in a mission. Okay, the enemy has spotted our helicopter, so let's defeat them before we get shot down. Okay, we have to hurry because enemies are on the way. and we're on the chopper but don't let your guard down just because you're on the chopper because you'll notice that enemies will still attack you even when you're trying to exit so you'll have to provide cover fire to prevent your helicopter from being shot down Unfortunately, it seems like we rescued the wrong target, but know that there are several side objectives such as this within each mission which can be completed for different rewards. Finding them all is part of the fun, so we hope you look forward to it. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes for the Xbox One and Xbox 360 is scheduled for release in March 2014, prior to Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for details.